Princess Leia herself, Carrie Fisher, apparently loved that one scene in Rogue One, according to an ABC News Nightline interview with Lucasfilm's John Knoll. You know the scene. No, not the one where the Death Star blows something up or where that weird white Yeti alien thing with the gas mask walks around. That other one at the end that I won't spoil. Good, I'm glad we're on the same side of the force here. Man, it's really hard talking about Star Wars without talking about spoilers. Can you all go see Rogue One already? Like, please, it's been out for a few weeks. It's awesome, I promise. You can come back, we can talk about it forever without having to worry about spoiling anything. Like the scene in the end where K2SO and C3PO make out. It's after the credits. Way after the credits on my DeviantArt page. Sticking to movies, Marvel has revealed some of Spider-Man's most important suit improvements for his upcoming film. For example, Peter Parker will have an upgraded web shooter with selectable web types and a holographic GPS wrist display on his forearm in Spider-Man Homecoming, along with the recently revealed web wings. And it's all thanks to Tony Stark, who even took the time to incorporate expressive eyes on the costume. Which is funny because he didn't see the need to do that with his own Iron Man suit. I guess if a billionaire robot designer is trying to hook up with your aunt, he'll build you anything you want. Rocket League might have released in 2015, but it's officially the most downloaded game on the PlayStation Store for 2016. People really do love knocking giant soccer balls into nets with cars that wear hats. Honestly, I don't know why nobody made that game sooner. As for PlayStation VR, Job Simulator actually beat out Batman Arkham VR. Trust me though, both games are awesome, but it's still pretty surprising that people would rather pretend to work in a fake 7-Eleven rather than pretend to be Batman. Hey, maybe somebody should make a game where Batman has to work in a 7-Eleven. I'm calling it now, it would be the number one most downloaded game of all time. Probably not. Now, while we're talking about incredible games from last year, I'd be remiss not to mention that we here at IGN are unveiling our top 10 games of 2016 today. It wasn't easy for us here. There was shouting, crying, broken controllers, Pokemon catching, and finally, hugging. But I must say, we're really proud of the final list. So go check it out and continue the fight in the comments section. That's your daily fix for January 6th. I'm Brian Altano. Eat plenty of pizza this weekend while you stay up to date with all of our awesome CES coverage, including some great IGN access stuff. Don't forget to download the official IGN app. And remember, you can get your fix anytime online at IGN. Sorry I keep pointing at you. I gotta stop doing that. One more.